everyone, welcome to my latest class. I'm Jen Lazan and I'll be the one guiding you through this course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator that's based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, check out my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life, so that you can get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a freelancer and the work that goes into making classes like this one. I really enjoy sharing my knowledge here on Skillshare and over on YouTube as I think it's a really accessible way to learn new skills. This month, I wanted to share my process for creating surface pattern design work using my iPad and the Affinity iPad apps. I have shared classes in the past where I walk you through my process using my desktop computer, but in this class, I wanted to show you how seamless, yes, pun intended, the process of making pattern repeats can be working with the Affinity iPad apps. I will show you both of the processes that I use when I'm working in the raster-based app Affinity Photo and when I create in the vector-based app Affinity Designer. I wanted to share some of my tips, my knowledge and process to help you design surface pattern repeats that you can use for print on demand sites like Spoonflower. I know that surface pattern design can sometimes feel daunting when it comes to the whole tech side of things, but for this class, I wanted to show you how you can streamline your whole process and complete everything using only your iPad, a stylus, and the Affinity apps. So what is this class about? In this class, I'm going to walk you through my process of how to make a seamless repeating pattern using both the raster-based Affinity Photo app and the vector-based Affinity Designer app right on your iPad. You can complete the entire process from sketch to final pattern tile completely on the iPad. So what are some of the skills you'll learn in this class? You will learn the basics of how to use Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer apps to design a repeating pattern. I will walk you through my whole research process to find references and inspiration for both motifs and color stories and how to create a quick mood board in Affinity Photo. Then you can begin the sketch process. You can either sketch traditionally on paper if you want with pencil or pen, but I urge you to experiment with sketching digitally. I will even show you how you can pull hand-drawn sketches into your app by taking a simple photo of your sketchbook. Then we're gonna go over the basics of the workspaces, including the brushes, the layers, the color studios, transform studios, and things like the Affin effects in both of the apps. Then I show you how I sketch, ink, and color motif concepts directly within the Affinity software. Finally, I show you how I build my repeats in each of the apps. I will essentially go through each of these steps in each of the apps individually for an easy to follow along creative session. This course is designed to give you all of the technical and creative skills that you need to start designing patterns using the Affinity iPad apps. Make sure you check out the class resources for a resource guide on surface pattern design and the color palettes that I'm going to use for my projects in this course. Also, make sure you check out the Pinterest board link um, that I'm going to include in our course description with some great surface pattern design inspiration. If you want to check out some of my surface pattern design work and other illustration work, definitely make sure you check out my shop on Etsy, Bella and Sophia Creative. And you can also check out my website at www.bellasophiacreative.com.